could knock 10% off the GDP uh, of Nigeria. And uh, as a matter of fact, unemployment could jump as high as 35%. Uh, experts have also said that COVID-19 will worsen Nigeria's unemployment crisis. I want to know from you, Mr. Adeshina, and Lagos is listening to you. What is Mr. President's plan to avert this? People have already started losing their jobs. What is the plan to cushion this effect? Well, first let me say that it is not just Nigeria. It's a global phenomenon. The global economy is going to be in crisis. IMF, World Bank, all of them have made their predictions. As dire as the predictions are, the, the prospect for Nigeria is not as bad as that because the, the prediction is that Nigeria may go into recession in 2020, but it will come out of it in 2021. Right. That is the prediction. But then, what has the president done? Recall that what is called the Economic Sustainability Committee has mm. been set up mm. under the chairmanship of the vice president. Right. The purpose of that committee is just to work uh, during COVID and um, to project ahead post-COVID mm. so that uh, the economy does not uh, suffer too much bashing. But in terms of bashing, yes, it will come because we are part of the global system and the global system is under barrage economically mm. from COVID-19. What I'm asking specifically, Mr. Adeshino, is what is the plan for those that have lost their job and those that are about to lose their job uh, in some other climes? I mean, palliatives have been provided for these people. Yeah. We, we, cannot be, we cannot be talking about individuals now. Rather, we should be talking about policies. Policies that will ameliorate the situation. And that is part of the brief of the Economic Sustainability Committee. Indeed, indeed. I, I will quickly move on from there. Let's talk about more.